What's up, babe? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, if this is your very first time here. What's up, babe? So, today I just wanna take you guys through a day with me. Um, It's kinda gonna be vlog style, just a day in the life of a YouTuber. I did kinda do one that was more focused on Instagram content, but now I wanna show you guys just kinda what it looks like on a day that I actually have to film a YouTube video. All I've done this morning is get Amira up, you know, get her breakfast and stuff, eat some breakfast, and I did my hair as well so <laughs> i am about to do my skincare and brush my teeth really quick but i just quickly want to show you guys everything that i am using i've been loving this fresh soy face cleanser fresh always sends me over the best products it's already leaking on my hand so let me go ahead and wash my face real quick i just kind of want to show you guys what my morning typically looks like and just take you guys through pretty much a whole day so that was my cleanser then typically i would do a toner and the toner that i have been loving is this rose deep hydration facial toner started using this about a week ago love 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 this from fresh so i don't have any cotton wipes right now so <laughs> i just put it on with my fingertips and then i'll brush my teeth while it's drying i'm brushing my teeth with my shine toothbrush you guys know that i have worked with shine and shout out to them for sponsoring another video keeping the lights on for us um but yeah i'm gonna be brushing my teeth with this which i use pretty much every morning and evening I'm trying to do better about brushing my teeth at night <laughs> But if you don't know what Shine is, it is a Sonic Toothbrush subscription service. So this is the base of it. It comes in black and white. I got it in black and they sell individual brush heads. And I love this one. I had the whitening one before, but this one is my favorite one. And if you look at it, it does have different settings that you can use and that changes the vibration of it. So we have clean, white, sensitive, and a massage one. I usually am on the sensitive one or the clean one. Feels the best for me. But especially since we are coming up on Christmas <laughs> I felt like a shine toothbrush would be a perfect gift for someone if you're looking for something a little more creative than your normal gifts I feel like shine would be perfect because this toothbrush is a bomb it has been my favorite and the only one I've been using before I was using a different one religiously and it does not compare to this one so I feel like it would be the perfect gift for your loved one just make sure you don't <laughs> Just make sure, you know, it ain't no sly way. You're like, look, your breath always stinks, so here's a toothbrush. But I mean, it's a nice little hint. <laughs> Seriously. Um, I do think that this would be a great gift. And you can get the brush for $45, which is dope. If you do plan on getting it as a gift, you want to make sure you get it on or before the 16th to make sure you get it before Christmas. You can give somebody this. I feel like this is a dope, dope gift. The brush does come with its own charger. So I usually like leave this up on my counter when it needs it, but it barely ever needs to be charged even from using it twice a day. And my mouth always feels super fresh and clean afterwards. So <laughs> like I said, if you have a loved one who would benefit from something like this or would love something like this, definitely Really try it out for gifting this year. So now that my toner is nice and dry, I'm gonna go ahead into my moisturizer. Recently, I've been using my Clinique Moisture Surge Intense, as well as my Fresh Deep Hydration Face Cream. Mm, been using this one more. So since we're going with Fresh, I'm gonna go ahead and go into this one. Then I'm just going to moisturize my face because we feeling real dry. <laughs> and now I am prepped and primed for some primer and some makeup, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm gonna take y'all with me. <laughs> Let's roll. Uh, we're gonna head into the beauty room because we are about to get started on filming. I have a sponsored video that I need to film today. Um, yeah, sponsored video that I'm gonna film today. I'm just gonna take you guys through exactly how I prep for filming my YouTube videos as well as the whole process of filming, after filming, um, editing, you know, uploading my footage into my camera, just the whole nine yards. So let's go ahead and prep for the video. All right, y'all, so I lied. <laughs> Rarely does my schedule ever line up with Amira's, so I have to make her some lunch right now. She's on the couch. Hi, honey, you hungry? I'm about to make Amira some lunch real quick and then we'll get to filming. <laughs> Oh. 
All right, y'all, so we are in the studio. Um, here's eating, she's minding her own business. So I am about to get ready to film. Typically, I would like go through all my products and pick out my products for the day. This video is sponsored. I actually already have my stuff ready to go. But my first step would be to, like y'all just saw me do, turn on the light in here. And it actually is a lot cleaner in here than it usually is. <laughs> um, because last time I filmed, I went ahead and cleaned up a little bit. But typically what I would do is go through my drawers and pick out the products that I want. Because if I'm in filming, I'm worried about my battery going out and you know, trying to just save time. So I always will make sure that everything is ready and already on my filming table ready to go. One thing I would do is make sure that this is nice and flipped because um, I have one more side of this that was clean somewhat. <laughs> so I went ahead and flipped it over to that. Um, these are all the products from Sunday's video in here <laughs> because you know when I'm done I start to put everything into one individual bag. I have so many of these little Nabla bags and I'll put all my products in there so once it's time to link everything in the description box I have everything here for shades and everything. So today's video is primarily focused on a certain types of products so I do need to dip into my drawers here <laughs> to pick out other face products that I'm going to use throughout the tutorial but it won't be filmed but I don't like like in the middle of the tutorial going through and trying to find things and wasting time. I like to get the videos done as quick as possible. Typically they take me about two hours to film give or take. <laughs> if a video ends up being edited down to like 10 minutes usually that might take me like an hour and a half to film. If it's more of a 30 minute video it might take me about two and a half hours to film. So I'm going to go ahead and put these products away from Sunday's video and grab any other products that I need for my face today that I'm not going to be using that's for the sponsor video. I did just take some pictures for the thumbnail and connected my phone as a monitor to, matter of fact, let me put it on no turn. And yeah, this is my monitor. So what you're seeing here is what you see here. Did that so that I can take a picture for my thumbnail. I'm always trying to think about what my thumbnail needs to look like from jump. So I know I want different scenes throughout the video um, for this thumbnail. So I had to make sure I took that picture. Um, so yeah, so now I have everything that I need extra for the video, um, bronzer, blush, eyeliner, highlighter, all this kind of stuff. It's not actually gonna be featured in the video, but I need to put it on anyway. Typically my phone wouldn't be connected yet, but I needed that picture <laughs> because of the different type of video. So yeah, anyway, um, yeah. I also have a thing here for used brushes. So whenever I'm done with big face brushes, um, while I'm filming, I just pop them in here. That way my dirty brushes are separated from my clean brushes. But I do like to keep all of my clean brushes right here because I have access to them. These are dirty, <laughs> but everything else is clean. So it's just really easy for me to reach and get everything that I need while I'm working. That is pretty much the prep process. The next thing I have to make sure I do is um, make sure I have on whatever jewelry I wanna wear as well as whatever top. I want to wear <laughs> this video is going to be more of a new year's eve type of look so i think i might put on something a little sparkly something a little more fancy maybe maybe not and then i go over in my corner here that has all of my jewelry and this white box right here i keep all of my jewelry or some of my jewelry so i go in there and pick what jewelry i want to be wearing for the video and yeah then we get to filming also to show you guys really quick usually i will i am still using my phone as a monitor so i'll put it up here on this stand and this is the one i also use for my instagram photos yeah so this does have a remote control to it i use this for my instagram pictures but i will put it up here and that way while i'm working i can see myself because the camera is usually right here in the middle of the ring light and i can see everything that's going on on my phone this particular video i am not doing eyebrows on camera so i'm gonna go ahead and do my brows now usually this is my first step if i'm not doing brows on camera i will just make sure that i get my brows done beforehand 
And typically before I go and throw on another top and then wrap my bottom with the blanket. <laughs> Party at the top, sleep time on the bottom. <laughs> I feel like that is like the YouTube beauty influencer way. But yeah, that's pretty much all the prep that I do to prepare for filming a YouTube video. Um, after I'm done with my brows, go ahead, change my shirt, throw my blanket on, um, get my camera situated where I need it to be, and we gonna get to filming. What's up, babe? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, if this is your very first time here. So today, we are going to be doing this beautiful look, and it's more of an everyday look, but also got a little sprinkle of some New Year's Eve, girl, just a little, just a little bit. <laughs> Before we do, please make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet, so that you are updated when new videos come out. Also, make sure that you hit that notification bell as well, so that you are updated when new videos go up. All right, babes, let's do it. All right, y'all, so I just finished filming this look, but I forgot that I did not show you guys the whole filming setup and everything, so we're gonna go over that before we get to editing. So, uh, when I'm filming sponsored content, I always have to have my laptop here. Right now, it's just sitting on my YouTube dashboard, but um, usually when you have sponsored content, the brand gives you, you know, rules and things to go by, things that you need to make sure that you hit and point on. So, I always have to make sure that my laptop is sitting there so that I do everything that is required from the brand so that is why my laptop is there it's a mess everything right now is the mess because that is just what happens while I'm filming <laughs> but before I got started I did have to really sit in my computer read the brief for my video that I'm doing make sure that I'm hitting all the points or you know actually this one didn't have too many points but you know it were some things that I need to make sure I said and stuff like that and also towards the end of the video is when I do obviously my intro and my outro and then I go ahead and take pictures so usually y'all know in my thumbnails I'll have a picture of me with my face not even done so I always know kind of what I want my thumbnail to look like so I'll stop the camera and switch it to the mode where I take pictures and I'll take the photos of myself and then um at the end after my intro outro I'll do the same thing and then I'll take you know the cute little posy pictures <laughs> for the thumbnail and for Instagram as well so as far as our setup, I have two box lights and I know this lighting is horrible. It gets a little dark just because I do have these lights just sitting there, but this is two box lights. I did start with these. They also came with this overhead box light and I use this to light my background. So those two, my ring light, this camera that you're looking through right now usually sits right in the middle of my ring light. And then lighting my background, I have this one right behind me on top of my head to avoid shadows. And then I have this light as well as this light lighting this background area. So usually that's kind of like what you guys see while I'm filming right there. But sis, if you look down and everywhere else, it is a hot mess, sis. It's a hot mess. <laughs> but I do use those lights just to light this area so that it looks nice, white, and bright behind me while I'm filming and that's it you know sometimes I will tilt my table in certain ways to get different angles of my background if you know I have some older videos where this was my background like I'll angle it this way or sometimes I'll angle it straight but recently I've been loving this corner so this is how the magic happens <laughs> So this particular sponsorship, I do have to do an Instagram post as well as some stories on Instagram with it as well. So I'm trying to figure out right now if I'm going to do separate content or pull it from the YouTube video. Um, Cause obviously I need to do all of that while the makeup is on me. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I might just take some individual pictures of the look on my camera as well as Come on, focus on the girl. As well as do some more individualized stories for this as well. All right, y'all, so I just finished washing my face. I had to rewash my face. <laughs> um, I took my makeup off, but I just finished doing the extra pictures for Instagram for this sponsorship, as well as film some stories for the sponsorship as well. So, I'm trying to get my hair to together, girl get my hair together anyway <laughs> um I washed my face and I left my brows on and reapplied my lashes just so I'm looking like something throughout the rest of the day um I have not eaten yet <laughs> it is my phone died so let me grab my phone 
it is 252 so um typically around this time i will go ahead and make myself some food so i'm about to cook some food um i'm trying to lose 10 to 15 pounds before february so <laughs> um i'm trying to get really really healthy and just you know get myself together so i think i'm about to cook some food and then eat and respond to some emails y'all let me tell you something my email box is lit okay she lit um so i need to get into my inbox i need to respond to some brands i need to respond to people reaching out for the first time a lot to do in my inbox so all this stuff is actually due later on in the week but i want to do a little bit of editing to show you guys like my main my main little editing <laughs> timeline and some of the main things that i do to edit my content so let's go ahead and make us some food and then eat probably watch the office girl y'all know i've been binge in the office i'm in the middle of season seven now so yeah <laughs> uh probably gonna get into that and then later on this evening we can edit but i always really do be trying to get everything done before amira gets out of school um it's almost three she gets out at 350 so she gets out in about an hour because i like her to have her own schedule and spend some time with her after school I've been a little bit more relaxed on that recently just because I feel like sometimes I put a lot of pressure on myself, especially now, you know, I'm trying to ease my anxiety and everything like that. But most of the time, I would like to get done with everything, mm, give or take some editing <laughs> by the time she's out of school because I can always edit in my bed at night or late night or whatever. So, yeah, let's make us some food and kick it a little bit before we edit tonight. Baby, I like you. Like you. My baby, I die for you. Like for you. See you. You know, you know, I see you. My baby, you know, you know, I ride with you. Uh. My baby, I don't care whether I die for you. Uh. I pray to the Lord. I rise to the Lord. Gonna greet the Lord. I pray to the Lord. For the mother, Jambele. Everything being safe again, man. Everything for your jambele, oh jambele, oh, oh yeah. You are not a friend of me, no. Baby, you mean more to me, more to me. All right, y'all. So I made me some broccoli, put some cheese on my broccoli. I got some chicken with some peppers sautéed, as well as some shrimp scampi that I already had made that I just put on the stove, but. This will probably be my last meal for the day. <laughs> um, I am eating more on the keto side, not completely, but trying to be more keto right now. Just trying to lose a little weight, girl, get a little more healthy. So, I know this looks like a lot, <laughs> but that's primarily because I haven't eaten since breakfast and I probably won't eat again today. So, I'm about to go ahead and eat my food and watch me some office, do some emails, and then we'll get to editing later on tonight. Oh, that's fire. Oh, that's good. Mm. Yeah. Let me find out I'm turning into a cook, sis. Let me find out. All right, y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and edit. I do have my memory card right here, so I'm just gonna open up Final Cut. This is the vlog that I'm working on for you guys to see right now, but <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and open a new project. And I'm just gonna leave it untitled right now. And it automatically goes to like the YouTube sizing. So I'm gonna pop this into my computer. Of course I have a MacBook. I'm not sure what kind of is the world go one, but it doesn't have a port for a memory card. So I have to use this. I just need to go in here and take everything from the video that I filmed yesterday. And I'm gonna import it. And then from there, I can go and see where it is and I can go ahead and drag it into the project. Some people actually take small clips out of um, this footage, but I feel like that takes too long. So I just drag everything and then I just cut it up from there. I know this last one is my intro, so I'm going to leave that one. So I'm gonna pull that down. 
And then this one is my intro, so I'm gonna pull that one down here. And then from there, I just go ahead and I start to cut everything up. I used to actually get rid of like where you can see down here, you can see where the volume is, you know where to cut. I used to actually go through as my first step to cut that all and then go back, but I realized that that was a waste of time. So now, I actually just start editing from job. This where my hands go up, I know that's where it's gonna start, so I get rid of that. And I pretty much just go through, I always do my intro at least two or three times, because sometimes I like certain things, sometimes, you know, I'll be doing the most. <laughs> um, or, you know, I just like to have different options. Sometimes I'll cut pieces from two or three different ones, but I always like to have at least two or three of them. And then, one of the main things that I do is go straight from here to being more zoomed in. So I always go and put a transition on there. The one I have been using is the push one. So I'll just do that and that way you can see it go. Easy. And then I just wanted to show you guys one other thing because I get a lot of people who say that this one way that I edit is really cool, but it's really, really basic. So pretty much when I am doing something and then I go into real time talking um, <laughs> over my voice. So this is a good place to do it. So I'll stop right here. Um, so you'll see me talking. I'm taking blend this into our crease on both sides. I'm taking a big fluffy blending brush to a blend this. So right there, I just cut off that extra space and then I'm doing some stuff right here. But really all I'm gonna do is just cut where I start over that eye, get rid of this and take this clip, get rid of the volume, and put it over this one where I was talking. Um, that way it's gonna go straight into where I'm talking next to that one. So, this like this. Our crease on both sides. I'm taking a big fluffy blending brush to a blend this out. But I wanna keep this See, nice. it's real easy, real simple. <laughs> Some people think that that's like this huge thing, but it's really, really not. When I'm filming, I purposely take extra time to be silent and applying so that I can do that when I am editing. So it's really not anything transformative, sis. It's really just <laughs> me knowing that I wanna do it and I do it. So right now I'm just going through, I'm getting rid of dead space. I keep it if I'm actually applying most of that time. So this right here, I probably keep because I know I probably want to overlay that. I can just overlay that if I want, but when I go back, I can do that. And that's pretty much it, y'all. Um, once it's all finished, I go through, I add my animations. I manually add like the subscribe button, the bell button. I have my intro little picture and my outro picture already in here. So like in this, in this video, which is what you guys are watching right now, I already have my, this right here. So I'll just copy it and go to the next one and I'll paste it right at the beginning. Go ahead and zoom in so I can really see the length of it. I'll put some static on it as a transition. I'll make that static pretty small and short. And I'll also change it to style B and that way What's up, babe? Welcome back to my channel. There it is. And I don't need to add a little more because you didn't even see me <laughs> wave, but. What's up? Yeah. All right, y'all. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. When I upload, I do do um, magic links. So, that takes me a while. Film editing a video probably takes me a good. Let me go ahead and let y'all see my face while I'm playing. But as you can see, the lashes and the brows came off, sis. I'm out of time. But um, editing a video typically will take me about two, two hours for a really short video, four hours for like 30 minute videos. That's about how long it takes. Anywhere from two to four hours and then uploading. Now that I have a better internet connection, doesn't take that long, but Doing the links really is what takes the most time, um, just finding the links and then making the magic links. Um, I'm trying to do way better about that, if you guys have noticed. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it takes, it takes a nice time to actually edit and upload. On top of that, doing Instagram posts and all of that in connection with it takes even more time. So, <laughs> we're talking about a good, with the IG post, three to five hours. Um, especially since when I post on Instagram, I do like to stay available for at least the first hour or so. Make sure I'm responding to all of my comments um, and everything like that. Also, after a YouTube video, I like to stay 
active and available for the first like hour to make sure I'm responding to you guys as well. I do drop in a little bit after that, but if you really want me to see your comment and you really want to ask me a question or say something about the video, sis, say it in that first hour because I will see it, I will respond. <laughs> so, um, yeah, y'all, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I hope it was helpful or entertaining for those of you who are interested and um, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.